So we have established uh, flying helicopters made easy four years ago. And our goal is to bring helicopter operations both on the flight training and uh, part 91 operation to make it more effective, more professional, very safe, and yet much more uh, competitive in terms of prices. My name is Elon Nahum. I moved to the United States about 15 years ago. Um, fly helicopter, I fly fixed wings, so for me aviation is all about flying. You know, me and Yaron had the uh, opportunity to, to uh, get the first helicopter and then after that everything just uh, grew by itself. We bring Air Force methodologies and experience to the industry where we are actually putting a lot of emphasis on doing the operation safely, giving and providing high level customer service which put us in a different uh, area from other places where we are just building flight time. So X-Copter uh, give us the full package really. What we're looking at, we're looking at the company itself. We had other uh, choices to pick up from, uh, but we found that X-Copter was uh, willing to give us the right service uh, with the right budget and the right product. We have been attracted to X-Copter actually in the Heli Expo, in 2016 Heli Expo. We were looking to uh, get a simulator for quite a long time. And Heli Expo was a great opportunity to uh, try and look around different simulators. And we saw that x actually provided a very good functionality in a very decent price, which can be easily integrated to our flight school as, as it is today. We like the clients to come in and work on their issues and the flight uh, without the major cost of flying all the time. What we like to do is minimize the expense working on a specific problem like auto rotation, working on a specific problem like issue with you know approaches. So stuff that we can work and minimize the expenses for the clients is, is that's what we're looking at the X counter. Using the simulator can give somebody an idea if he can he can do it. Why? Because you still need the coordination. So we have people that want to come and try to see if they can do it. We can put them on the simulator for about an hour and then we can give them the idea how fun it is to fly a helicopter. So what I think about the product, um, it actually looks very nice, clean design. When you sit in it, you actually feel that you're in a helicopter. The big screens, the audio system, it comes with a variety of uh, functionality for both instruments and a VFR operation. So you really feel that you're flying a helicopter. And now you can practice all the crazy emergencies that you cannot do up in the air. And it definitely looks like a platform that can improve every pilot's skills in all areas of helicopter flight. I just said on the simulator, I feel simulator is like sitting in the real helicopter. You got the filling, the warm of the helicopter. You feel like you're really using the real controls. Uh, you feel that the helicopter behaves pretty much like what you expect from a 44 to behave. It's almost like you're really flying the helicopter. We are actually looking to uh, use the uh, simulator in Part 145 to increase our pilot's proficiency, especially dealing with real-time emergencies, things that you hardly practice, especially up in the air. Right now we can actually practice more on the ground, uh, dealing with the real things, with bad weather, with auto rotations, with uh, power and other instrument failures, and even planning new routes, uh, dealing with new uh, uh, challenges, flying to New York City, and every new uh, route we're going to uh, uh, take and, and plan, definitely we're going to try it first in the simulator and see if there's any uh, uh, new answers we need to uh, take into account in our planning. New York is known in bad weather that change uh, quickly, right? Uh, so. We got a student coming in and they're ready to fly, they're ready to go out and then the weather just drop on them. So we're definitely going to use the simulator for that time. Having a, something that you can show the student in his eyes what he's going to do up in the air, especially if you can actually even uh, bring him to the same area where you're using uh, uh, the maps and scenery of Long Island. Once they're up in the air, they know where to go, they're already 
so how it looks like. They know what to prepare and they know what to expect in terms of the helicopter acting to what they're doing on the control. One of the requirements of uh, pilots and the commercial pilot CFI is to do uh, night flights. You don't have the chance to do it all the time. Even if I know that my pilots need to do it and we need to practice before that if they didn't need to done it in the past 90 days, you can always throw them on the simulator, have a few flights, a few hours or a few takeoff and landing on the simulator and then put them on the, the real helicopter. It's all about being a better pilot, a safer pilot, uh, a pilot that trained more because it's all about the training. So first I'd like to thank the ex-copter crew that came all the way here and assembled uh, the helicopter and give us training and tips how to use the helicopter. They helping us with introducing the helicopter. With, uh, it's a joint venture to uh, put the word out that everybody knows that there's an ex-copter here and everybody can come and use it. I myself think that the x -copter, introducing x -copter to our company is actually going to uh, take us one level up in flight training, in safety of our operation, and in other areas of training that we couldn't do until today.